What are they doing? They're literally driving on the wrong side of the road. They've come out, gone across, and now they're trying to cut across there. What are they doing? Look, they're all coming round here. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Fix Your City with me, Biffa. And here we have a ginormous city. Yes, a gigantic and enormous city. Look at the size of this. Over 100,000 citizens sent in by Jay Bizzle. Thank you very much for sending this in. Let's get a nice overhead shot here. And we're going to see how bad the traffic is. Oh, my giddy aunt. Yeah, it is clogged up in the middle wow so let's just see what that is in percentage wise 18 percent traffic well it was actually 19 percent uh, a minute ago it was 22 percent before i recorded the time lapse that you're going to see at the end of all the bad traffic and 17 percent it is literally getting worse before our eyes let's just zoom down here so you've got you've got like a main highway which is good it goes around the outside goes in here so you've got that connection there that goes off over there that's good comes through the middle connects over here again yeah i do know that you did use a uh, traffic manager and set up some stuff in your city um which we need to just go around and do again in a few places. Um, I've also turned on, as you can see, all the notifications so we can see how bad things are. Whoops, in the city. And yeah, people are, can't get buyers, can't get their trash taken away. People are dying. Yeah, and the population is dropping quite a lot. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I'd like to check is your use of mass transit around the place, your public transportation. So you obviously have quite a lot set up. You've got a lot of bus lines going all over the place. You also have some tram lines, which is nice to see. You don't see that very often. Uh, not, I mean, you know, it's, you can't judge now whether these are well used or not because people can't get to them to use them. But ah, even in this bad condition, your metro lines are well used. Uh, you have one train line, nobody using that one, and some ferries as well. But nice to see that you've got metro. Yes, that seems to cover the major parts of your city, which is good. We'll take another look at that once we've solved some of your traffic issues. So the first thing I like to do is look at your roundabouts because let's just go back to the middle here. You can see it's you've got lots of roundabouts put in. You've got lo nice junctions off the highway here, but it's causing all sorts of issues. So for instance, where do we start? Where do we start? Let's come down the highway here. So the way that comes on, yeah, you probably could do with some lame, lame mathematics here for sure. So let's just do that as we go along. So you've got three lanes coming along here and a lane joining. Uh, you've got a lane going off there. Okay, so three lanes, one going off. Let's get this down to two. And this just helps the game out when you do this. Then you get another lane joining, so back to three. Do, 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 do. Another lane going off, so back down to two again. Another lane joining back to three. So then what you can do, you can help the people when they merge by using this tool here. So we can then select our lanes. We can get those nicely lined up. And things won't happen like this guy in the truck. They won't do that. They would just carry on down here and then merge a little bit further on, which is good. And then coming off of here, if we just pause the game and delete this guy, <laughs> you'll see you now get a dedicated turning lane because the game is clever enough to work out that there's a lane for coming off and two for going on. So if you're playing in vanilla, this is good to do. Um, it's not going to help so much with the trucks coming on here because you don't have traffic manager if you play on console. But for coming off like this, it will stop people queuing up down here if they want to go straight on or it will stop them doing it as much. Uh, like over here again, we can do another, there we go, merge nicely in there, there, and there, which is good. And then we'll go back, we've got a dedicated lane for going off, doesn't look like it, but <laughs> hey, <laughs> let's use the lane tool here and click. Yeah, I think because the junction's so far back, but it's not that busy, I'm not too concerned about that one. Um, and then we can also do the same going the other way. Although coming off here, what have we got? So let's ignore that junction. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. One lane coming off. So this goes down to two. One lane coming on back to three. I mean, it's not that busy. So I'm going to leave that. But I'll take another look at this a bit later in case things start getting busy 
uh, with our junction with once the traffic starts moving and then coming down here you could do a similar thing uh, let's come up to this roundabout and have a look you've got a lot going on here you've got a lot going on here so you've got this tunnel that comes from over here winding your way through i'll be honest with something oh has it got like a oh it's because you've got tram going through there as well i was going to say don't use one that big because when it comes out the other end you've then got to try and deal with these four lanes hitting this thing and then you've got this lane coming on here as well where does your tram go it goes down there and then it goes through here and through there yeah i really try and avoid things like that we're going to try and make it work with what you've got and then we'll see if we need to make some changes. So we're going to use the new way of doing this. I hold control, shift, and click. Bish, bash, bosh. And it puts in the giveaway signs and all that sort of thing. And then I just want to check. See, already things are starting moving. Um, but then you've got this thing here. So we want to make sure people on the roundabout can go round, but they can't come in. That one's fine. Turn that one off. That one's fine. See, what I'm, what I'm having and puffing about is... These sort of rules now are all a bit weird because you've got trams going through here. I'm just wondering whether there we could say give way to you and get you guys to go through. But then they're going to get stuck there and give way here. But if I make them go straight through, they're going to block the traffic. So they're going to have to give way. But yeah, your tra trams are good, but they do cause a lot of issues. We'll come back to that junction. Let's just do a... A set up on this roundabout as well. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to quickly go around and do that in all the roundabouts in the city. I think that might be a good idea. While I'm doing this, I just wanted to very, very quickly thank you for the huge support on the last video. I, I made a little point of just saying how many people were not leaving likes and subscribing. And apart from the odd moaning mini who didn't like me even mentioning the mere fact, I was inundated with support in the comments saying thanks for reminding me i always forget to leave a like people were leaving likes people were thinking they were subscribed realizing they weren't and subscribing and it made that last video my most liked video in the last six months and it had six times more likes than my sort of average or my average videos i was absolutely blown away it had over sixteen thousand likes sixteen and a half thousand likes as of today that was just absolutely amazing and over a thousand comments i've gone through and i've replied to like 99 percent of those and you can see that for yourself so wow i just want to say hands together thank you very very much that was just brilliant okay so we are down to 15 percent since doing that but that's going to make a bit of a difference um i haven't gone through and set up the the junction restrictions on the roundabouts uh which is something i think most are going to be okay every now and again i'll have to check and see if we can fix some of those but hopefully that will help that will help so let's maybe take a look at let's continue looking at your highway here that's coming in so let's come out of that view there there we go so we came down here um, we've got the lane mathematics going on through there. Let's just do that going through the other way as well, just to keep things. So three minus one down to two. There we go. And that one coming back on again. We'll just do this. So you go there, you go there, and you go there. There we go. Um, I'm also just looking at this and where the traffic comes off and goes up here. They're just getting stuck at another roundabout. Um, I do like the fact you've got lots of walking paths everywhere. Most of your roundabouts have got like uh, paths like this going over the top. Fantastic. Keep that going. That is really good. Um, but let's just have a quick look at this one. I'm going to do the junction restrictions here. So you go round if you're on. 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 And you're, didn't I do this roundabout at all? I don't think I did. Let's, let's just zoom out a bit. What's going on? Control on that one. Control click. I don't think I did. There we go. That might be why it's causing all sorts of issues. Also, having your metro right by a roundabout like this. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. Look at all these guys all coming out of here. Wow. All 35 ambulances coming out. What are they doing? They're literally driving on the wrong side of the road. They've come out, gone across, and now they're trying across there what are they doing look they're all coming around here 
They have got absolutely no idea what is going on. Ha! Huh. Can't do it anymore. No more lane switching for you. Flipping egg. Okay, yeah. So what I was saying about metros, having them right by a roundabout. Because look, you can see for yourself, all the people coming out and they get their pocket cars out. I think you've got a bus stop right here as well. Move it down, out of the way. And here go the people down the outside. Who's going to win? This guy with the blue t-shirt's in the lead. <laughs> here he comes. Who's going to make it first? This guy in the black t-shirt here. There he goes. He's going to... Oh, he's overtaken. Oh, this person here at the last second. This person here in the last second. Todd Crowley is the winner of the bus stop movement. Yeah, so we'll do that. And I'm just wondering if I could just move this down as well. Yeah, look. You could have that like over here. Well away from there. Let's just move that. There we go. So that's now up there. They're not going to be jumping out with their cars over here. That's going to work much, much better. I'm just going to look at this road coming up here. And make that give way. That's okay. You're going through. Yeah, you want to make some of your side roads give way as well. Keep people moving. There we go. Look, this is moving a bit better now. Which means this will start moving, which means, look, this isn't as busy as it was before. Okay, good. Uh, let's just go down this way here. So we've got two lanes coming off. Yeah, we need some dedicated turning lanes here. So I'm going to use this tool here. And if you control click, look at the lane arrows here. We've got this lane doing two things. Control click. Or if you were eagle eyed, you could spot it's now just doing one thing. So we've got a dedicated turning lane here and here. That give way. And then coming down here, I'm going to do the same. Control click. I know it's done it. We don't need to check. Make that give way. And then when they come onto here, mm, it is super, super busy. I'm going to have to put. I think I might just have to go around the roundabouts and double, double. Oh, that's okay. That one there. You've got a lot of roads coming on. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight roads on this roundabout. Mamma mia. I think that's one way going off. So actually, this one is set up okay. We'll turn that one off there. That one off there. That might be okay once it gets going. These are coming on. These are coming on. These are coming on. These are coming on. This is like a major roundabout for your industrial area. Everybody coming in is going down here. All of these. I mean, there's another connection there. It's off the highway down here or off the highway down there. I'm just wondering whether we could add another junction somewhere. I don't know whether that's going to help, actually. Let's just quickly check this roundabout here as well. So basically, this is very quickly enter a block junction. So I only want people on the roundabout to enter this block junction. Nobody coming onto the roundabout to do so. When the traffic's this bad, when the traffic's not this bad, do whatever the heck you like because it'll be fine. Yikes. It is just so, so busy. That's what it is. Uh, here's another one down here. Do we have the giveaway signs on here? Uh, yes, I do. Let's just check that. You go through. So there, uh, stop that one there. Ever so slightly starting to move. What are all these? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Garbage trucks for days. Is this where all your garbage stuff is all in one area? Yeah. Not normally a good idea to do. Okay, let's just have a quick look at this. So this is one way coming up. And at the end, you've got two directions you can go. So that's blocking all of these people here. If any want to go left... So what we're going to do is grab a... It's a one-way road, isn't it? This one here is what I'm looking for. With two lanes. Just the end bit. And now you've got a left and a right. So they can decide... Whoa, why are people suddenly... We've got despawning turned off. Why are people suddenly disappearing? I might as well do it all the way down to the end. Oh, and they've all disappeared. What? I've given you more options... So what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete that last bit. I think there might be a problem with the node or something. There we go. And hopefully people will be able to use that. And then when they come in here at the end, I'm going to do this lane thing. So we've got dedicated turning lane. If they start using that again and we haven't broken it, they'll be able to go down there. Uh, let's just move up here. So a lot of these guys are going up here and hitting this section, hitting the roundabout again. Okay, we've got dedicated turning there. Let's just do that and that. They can go through, that's fine. Yeah, it's just been one of those cases of just getting things running for a while. What are we at? 39%, okay, it's going up. I feel like I'm being a bit harsh on myself, but it's going okay. Let us 
go back to where we were on the highway yeah look this is all cleared up this not so much we've done the turning lanes i just want to make sure the lane mathematics on the highway is okay so we've got three down to two i'm assuming we must have a dedicated turning lane there it's going to be somebody's bad day today yes we have so that's good there this looks like they're all just merging in and not giving way although they shouldn't be yeah look there we go see using my eyeballs i spotted it uh, that one off there that one's fine that one's fine so that'll stop these nosing in when they shouldn't and then when you come down here let's have a dedicated turning lane here so let's move along down here oh auto save a quick sip of tea right we come down to this bit down here this junction is interesting what have you got going on here let's do some lane mathematics first and then we can discuss the issues with this one so you've got three lanes one coming off down to two you've got like one coming up there back to three that's fine and then down here <laughs> what uh let's just check we've done this roundabout yeah we've done that one so they're coming up here and merging all over the place let us grab this and say you go there, you go there, and you go there. So they're not going to be getting in each other's way. You come down here, it's three lanes, one goes off. Down to two, so you've done it that way. And then we can have the merge in again here. You go there, you go there, and you go there. That's good. So now we've got dedicated turning lanes. Yep, you can see that. Mamma mia. And let's just see if we've done our... Yeah, we haven't done our giveaway and stop signs and things. So let's do that. And then what have we got going on? These people are stopping. I'll tell you what's going on here. Is this guy wants to go around there, I bet. Let's just see. Yeah, look. We don't want that. When you come off a roundabout, if, you can, if you're going to come off, stay on the roundabout if you want to go round. You know what I'm saying. So let's just stop them doing that by doing it. Here you go there, and here you go there. And then these guys. Okay, let's just change that. That goes there. That goes there. You're going to have to give way there, which I, normally I wouldn't like. See, I'd like the... Uh, yeah. They, I don't know if that's going to do the trams as well. Hopefully not. But if these cars keep going through, the trams will just drive through them anyway. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Look, this is all moving better along here. People aren't getting stuck at that junction, which is good. This bit down here. There, what is that? I can see why you've done it. Because you've got no room here. Because you normally have it like that. No. We just can't do that. It's just it's just not ethically reasonable and we're gonna have it come in there like that. Yeah, that's fine. And then we can just lift this bit up to match that. And and this bit here. There we go. Everybody's happy. And then we just do the lane maths again. So this is going down to two there for coming off. And then we just make sure the roundabout's set up. Right. Right. Look at that. All this traffic's gone down here. Fantastic. So these are doing that thing again where they're coming off and nipping around the corner. No. If you want to do that, stay on the flaming roundabout. Don't be blimmin' imbeciles. And you're going to go straight across into the lanes that you're doing. What is this little here for? For coming off and going round? No. I'm not having that. Did you? Did he just <laughs> don't defy my orders and go round like that? I think he did. <laughs> We're going to have a lane thing there. I think we're getting somewhere with this one. This is a pretty tough one. Oh, I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what it is. It's this here again. Look, I need to tell these guys not to be boneheads and go up there. And then the same for you. You get in the lane you want. Let's just check around here. We've done that one. We've done that one. We've done that one. See, these junctions are too close together, but I can see why you've done it. So this isn't backed up down here anymore. This is still all a bit backed up. So then we want to make sure that everybody coming off can get out. So yeah, look, this has all gone down. This is going down. This has gone down here. So that is just one of those things that's going to take a bit of time. 41%, yeah, getting better. Good, good, good. Dedicated turning lanes there. Be quiet. Uh, roundabout set up. No, let's do that. See, what happens with... This is quite interesting because this city was sent in with... Oh, it's not too bad. I've got 70% traffic. It's it's fine. But I've got industry problems. But what happens is as soon as you run a game with Traffic Manager and don't have despawning on, this is what happens. This. Oh, look, it's not quite so red up there anymore. Yes, we're getting somewhere. You know, you might think you have a well-designed city and it's not until you turn off despawning that you realise nope 
It isn't as good as I thought. Right, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a quick save so we don't lose all the stuff we've done. I'm going to just go around on the roundabouts again off camera and make sure I've done all the whether you enter block junctions or not thing because that one of those wrong can like hold up so much more. And then, yeah, I'll be back to you. So give me one minute. Well, you know, half a second for you, probably 20 minutes for me. Back in a sec. Okay, so 41%. I thought we'd just leave that area to run a little bit by itself and see what happens. Let's take a look over here. You're getting a bit of underground traffic that we can't see. And they're sort of coming out of here, coming up there. And they're stopping here with absolutely no need to do so. Um, so let us just take a look at what's going on here. We want you just to go through and not stop. Also, we don't want you to turn right, which I don't think any of them are. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to leave it because there's hardly any traffic coming up there. So you're acting a bit weird as well, aren't you? We want you just to go through because you're basically all going off. See, normally I wouldn't put that one on, but most of them are just leaving because it's the industry zone. The roundabout's all set up all right. What I might just do as well is just slow down the speed around this roundabout uh, from 100 to 50, just to give other people trying to get onto the roundabout a fighting chance. That's that little area sorted. Look at that. Uh, these here are stopping. I think that's just give way. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, this little bit here, what's going on there? I think this is a case of we need some dedicated turning lanes or something. So let's give that a go. There we go. Control click. Not quite sure what that would have done here, actually, because you haven't really got enough lanes. So what I'm going to do, if it doesn't mess up the size of the road. I'm going to put a three lane in there because now if you do the dedicated turning lanes, look at all the lane arrows on this junction. You've now got left, right and straight on, left, right and straight on, left, right and straight on, left, right and straight on. And you've got three lanes here, which is fine because the roundabout's three lanes. And that will just keep that going and stop it being a problem. That's something always worth keeping in mind when you've got junctions with four lanes. So I'm just wondering whether... I like to see you've got like a long snaking road, but people can't even get to the industry. I'm just wondering whether we could just give these another little in and out over here. Because you've got a road here just to try and help. Let's just see what we can do. Let's actually use net picker. Pick that road. Extend this a little bit down here. There we go. We'll go for that. I don't necessarily want them coming in that way. I'm just thinking to give them another access out because a lot of these are just wanting to get on the highway and there's highway access there. Um, I could just go up to four lanes where these come on for a couple of sections to help them merge. If that gets super busy, we can put the lane arrows in and all stuff like that. I'm just going to add this up to four lanes because you've got plenty of room in your toll booth. So that will help as well. Hopefully, it's going to take a while for these guys to see that that's over there. So access up there, access up there, access down here. I think this might just be a case now of letting this just run for a while and unclog itself. 41%. So let me do that, have a quick cup of tea, and we'll be back. Okay, a quick check-in. Let's see what we are up to. 73%. That didn't take too long. Uh, running the game on full and uh, speeding through it. I've done a few little things here, like, I mean, this is just one example. Not letting these guys switch lanes along here, which means they're not getting blocked behind each other. They keep moving. Uh, your trams are great. They're everywhere, and they do cause a few issues here and there. But overall, lots of people are using them, which isn't too bad. So I'm going to keep this thing running. And hopefully we can get that even higher. If I find any interesting hotspots that I've got to fix, I will bring you back in. Yeah, we've got a bit of traffic backing up on this road here. I mean, it's these. we're down to sorting out little things like this now. So I'm just wondering whether, if we just delete this road here, whether there's something we could do to help these guys and girls get through quicker. If we grab the tram lines, which I can never remember which one it is. That's the monorail. Oh, aha, we're back. I'm expecting a parcel of some PC upgrades, so I don't want to miss it. I'm uh, doubling my memory to 64. Uh, there we go. What I want straight on there. 64 gigabyte instead of 32. And, yeah, I'm getting myself a 2080 Ti as well. It's the end of year. Let me just get rid of these. We'll put these back. End of year, spending some tax money. Might as well upgrade the PC. That is the point. Right, okay. So, let us there. And I want that to go there. 
And then I'm going to use the move it mod. Oh, that isn't even turned on, is it? Okay, well, let's just line it up with that road. So that should help them get out onto the roundabout a bit quicker. If we just sort of do that. Get it a little bit nearer. There we go. So they can get out a bit quicker and in a bit quicker. Arrow there is saying that they're going to go round. No. I want to do that. So that should be good. And then we'll just double check the giveaway. So you've got a giveaway. You've got a giveaway. You can go through. You can go through. There we go. Oh, we've got these paths to put in. Let me do that. And we'll see how this ends up running. There we go. There's hardly any traffic coming down here now. Because it's not backed up anymore. And if they do come down, they can quickly get onto the highway. So that is like a little tip. Which really keeps things moving smoothly. I mean, here it's just busy. Here it's just busy. We're up to 73%. Despawning's turned off. So that is not bad going at all. Not bad going at all. Something else worth mentioning is don't put your tram depot right next to a roundabout like this. Look, this is just blocking everything up. That same rule goes for bus stops, for anything like that that's going to slow down the traffic. I'm going to find some other place to put this and hopefully help this area out a lot. Well, I have to say, 73, 74, 75%, I think, is pretty good going on this city, considering how many underground tunnels and things without doing a major reworking of your roads. I think that's turned out okay. If you want me to fix your city, check out the link in the description below. If you want to know what mods I'm using, they're on my Discord, link in the description below as well. And maybe watch the next video on the screen. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you all very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.